Um, last week, uh, we described the distribution again, numerically, um, using statistics. So uh, we described the center, the location, by the uh, measure of the center with the three statistics, uh, mode, medium, and mean. And the next page, we describe the shape, the size, the measure of the variation. And we had another uh, three statistics, range, variance, and the sample synthetization by six steps. Do you remember that? Right? Yeah? And uh, I posted the homework last Friday, and it will be not due tonight, but due to the Friday before the exam. And also, I reopened it all homeworks. Is that every single homework is due at before the exam Friday. Remember that, right? Yeah. So, do you have any questions for the exam, or any questions from the last homework? No. Yes. Okay. Let me. You know the last last homework. Okay. Let me go to. Section number four, homework, I think the homework number three, right? Mm -hmm. And question number three. Number three here, okay, good. The range, standard deviation, and the population standard deviation. Okay, good, just a second. Okay, uh, so the range, yeah, I suggested uh, except the population standard deviation, but uh, we had uh, three statistics for the measure of the variation, a range, part A, and the uh, variance, not here, but in one more step, yeah, we took the second, the part B, the sample standard deviation. Probably you asked me the, the last one, yeah? but let, let me try all of them. Let me try one of them. The range was the maximum minus the minimum. Who was the maximum in my homework? Eight. Minimum? Two. So it will be six. Right? Yeah. And the sample standard deviation we have to apply six steps. What was in step number one? Take the average, take the mean. Thank you. So step number one, take the mean, x bar. Uh, let me take the sum. You might have another five numbers, right? But I have uh, two, three, five, six, and eight. My sum will be 24 divided by 5. My average will be 4.8. So it is step number one, right? And now step number two. I need the differences. 2 minus 4.8. 3 minus 4.8. 5 minus 4.8, the mean. 6 minus the mean, and the last one is 8, is minus the mean. Negative 2.8, negative 1.8, positive is 0.2, and positive 
1.2 and positive 3.2. Second step, differences. Do you remember step three? Take the square. Mm -hmm. Always the square, we have to make them all positive, right? So 2.8 square will be 7.84. Point one point a square will be three point is a twenty four, and that will be point zero four, and that will be one point forty four, and it will be ten point twenty four. Step four. Take the sum. Step four, take the sum. So 7 point eighty four, three point twenty four, zero point zero four, one point forty four, ten point twenty four. Again, seven point eighty four, three point twenty four. My sum will be 22.8. Then what? Divided by sum divided by n minus 1. So 22.8. How many n? I have a 5. So 5 minus 1. 4 divided by 4. 5.7. What was the name of the 5.7? It was the Sample variance, S square. Finally, square root of it. Square root of 5.7. How many decimals? Yeah, be careful, it's a two decimals. So I have a 2.39. That will be the sample standard deviation. Let me check. <clears throat> Let me check. Range was six. And I got how much did I got? 2.37. 2 point thirty-seven. Um, let me check without per C. Good. Right? Yeah. Okay. The last one, the last one is the population standard deviation. Population standard deviation in the lecture, right? We discussed only the sample standard deviation, but it is nothing. For the sample standard deviation in step five, we divided by n minus one. But simply, we just divided by n. I told you, I didn't explain yet. When we divided by n minus one, when we divide by n, right? But there is the different two names. Divided by n minus one, it will be the sample standard deviation. But divided by n, it has another name, the population standard deviation. So simply, simply already we took the sum. How much was it? 22.8. Now, just divided by n, five. Let me try. It's a 22.8 over just a 5. I have a 4.56. So let me answer 4.56. Additionally, 4.56. Let me submit the answers again. Oh, sorry. Square root, thank you, yeah. It is the population variance. Take the square root of 4.56. I have a 2.14. Let me try again. See, I can try again. Mm, yeah. 2.14. Now I get full credit. Okay, yeah. So if you have a wrong answer, Think again, try again, you can get the fruit.
See, the other homeworks in number 0, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, right? It's not full credit. Absolutely. You can make them up, up to the full credit. When? Until before the exam. Right? So do you have an idea? Yeah. So by 60 steps, we can get the sample standard deviation, but special case, just divide by n. Don't forget, take a square root, get the population standard deviation. Thank you for asking me. <clears throat> so we discussed how can we describe the uh, distribution using statistics. Today, it is the last topic. Um, I want to try to finish up chapter three today. And we are going to review Wednesday and take the exam Friday. And you can prepare, don't forget, the summary, the cheating sheet, you know, right? Yeah. So you can bring your summary and calculator in the exam Friday. Good, right? So do you have any other question for the exam? But still, we have uh, one more day, Wednesday. So if you have any other question, please ask me Wednesday. Okay. Today's topic is the box and whisker plot. It is another picturing. See? Um, in chapter two, we split it exactly two parts. With the numerical variable, we made the uh, frequency table, histogram, seven leaf. And the other part is a categorical variable with the uh, uh, qualitative data. Uh, yeah, we made a frequency table, bar graph, and pie chart. Do you remember that? Right? Today, box and whisper <laughs> with a numerical variable again. So it is the uh, addition of plot after semi leaf. Histogram, semi leaf, and today, the box and whisper. For the box and whisker plot, we need the quartiles. Quartiles. How many quartiles do you expect? Four. Why? Is a quart. One fourth. Quart. Okay, let me see. To take the quartiles, we have to put them in order from the smallest one to the biggest one again. You know, before, when we took the median, we put them in order. Do you remember that? Yeah, it's the same thing. Quartiles, we have to put them in order. Yep, yeah, here's an example. 27. We have a 27 data. Uh, can you give me the smallest one? I think kind of the already they are in order. Right? So the smallest one is a 0.46 and biggest one is 1.83. How many? 27. 27. Odd number. <coughs> so we take 13. 13. In the middle, it would be the median. 14. Right? 13, 13, 26 is additionally the median is the 27. Does it make sense? Right? So let me count 13. So here is the 4, 4, 8, 10, 13. Who is the median? The second point eight zero will be the median. You remember how did you get the median? Now it is the second quartile. Q, Q. <clears throat> okay, it is the second one. Then where is the first one? To the left or to the right? To the left, yes. To the left, we take the first quartile. The I here is another median. So how many here then? 13, 14, 12. Let me see. Let me go up here. Okay. First of all, we put them in order. Step number one. Step number two, find the median. 
was this the second quartile and now here the first quartile will be another median from the lower half what will be the rule not including q2 not <coughs> including excluding excluding remember excluding so the the lower half must be from the minimum up to whom Which one? Up to this one. What was the rule? Excluding the median. The median was the second, not the second, the second point A. Excluding this one. So up to this one, right? So how many here? 13, thank you. Thirteen. Another odd number. The sixth, seventh, and the other six, right? So it's a one, two, three, four, five, and six, seventh, and the other six. Who will be the another median? The second point sixty three. Who is this? The first quartile. It will be the first quartile. It's almost the same idea. We can take another median from the upper half. From, remember, excluding the median. So it must be from the third point eight up to the maximum. How many? The other 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh, one point thirty. Who will be the third quartile? Do you have an idea? Uh huh. Okay. Now, how many quartiles? Only three. Now four. We have a uh, three. Quartile. But why it has the name the quartiles? We with using three quartiles, we make four partitions. Right? So now I can summarize here. In our example, we have a point sixty-three. Median, second quartile. Point eighty, and the third quartile was is one point thirty. Three quartiles. Additionally, minimum point forty six, and the maximum one point fifty three. How many partitions? One, two, three, four. We split it. The data into the four parts. So now it has the name, the part tiles. And now I can, I'm sorry, you have to take picture again. It's a 25% and 25%, roughly 25% and 25 is a percent. Part, one fourth, one fourth, part, part, uh -huh. yeah. We have a whole party. You understand, right? So um, we have a five numbers with uh, the addition of the minimum and the maximum five numbers, and so we call them is a five number summary. Hmm? Even numbers. Oh, we are going to take the even numbers later. Yeah, I can give you another example later. But but this example, uh, we have uh, all the numbers. So list up and just to pick one in the middle. That was the median and median and median and Q1, Q2, and Q3. Yeah. 
I will give you another example. Okay. So anytime there's an odd number, the five hundred number. Even number, odd number, it doesn't matter. Three quartiles always. Either case, additionally minimum, maximum, there are five numbers. So we are going to have uh, another five numbers with the even case later. Good, it is good point. And the next one is the interquartile range. I'm so sorry, I don't want to put it in the same screen. The interquartile range. Um, do you remember the range? Just the range? You know, the range was is one of the statistics for the measure of the variation between range, variance, and the samples and the deviation, right? The range. What was the range? The maximum minus the minimum. Thank you. The max minus the minimum. Uh -huh. In our case, 1.53 minus 0. 0.46. How much will be? 1. Point, what? 07. 07, thank you. That was the range. Now what? Interquartile, another range. Any idea? Interquartile, any other range? Yes, please. It would be zero point six minus uh, zero point six three minus zero point four six. Again, point six three minus zero point four six, which is ah. divided by two. Ah. <laughs> Any idea? The middle of those two. Oh, yes, the middle of the two, right? Who are the two? Oh, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't what, what and what? Point four seven and point six two. Where is the four seven? Well, there's four six, but I it's two point four six. Zero point eighty minus zero point four six. Which is the median minus the lower half. No? Right. Is it between Q2 and Q1? Q2 and Q1? Q3 and Q1. Second? Quartile 3 and quartile 1. Between 3 and 1. Come on, please, please look at the range. Maximum minus the minimum, right? Now what? Inter quad see I told you statistics is not easy, but what does I say? Not two quartiles. Inter quartile. How many quartiles we have? Three quartiles. You must pick two. What and what? The biggest quartile and the smallest quartile. Take the difference. What was the order? Bigger one minus the small one. Thank you. Uh, tricky. Yes, tick two, please. Yeah. Uh, some of you pick one and two, two and three, but I'm sorry, yeah. You must pick three and one. Right? Yeah. So interquartile range. Interquartile range is must be Q3 minus Q1. Yes. 1.32, 0.63. How much will be? 67. Always interquartile range is smaller than the range. Look at this. In math, subtraction, difference represents the distance. Right? So the range, the range was the distance between minimum and the maximum. Then what would be the interquartile range? Another distance 
between Q3 and Q1. Always we took the difference bigger one minus the smaller one. There are must be because there are the distance. And always the interquartile range is smaller than the range. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Did you understand? What is the interquartile? Another range, right? Yeah, between Q1 and Q2. Okay, now let me make the box and whisker plot. Box and whisker. First of all, we have to make the scale. Can you give me the minimum again? 0.46, okay, maximum? 1 point something? So let me make scale from 0, 1, and 2. In the middle, 0.5. In the middle, 1.5. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Make a scale first. Next, make a box with the Q1, Q3. How much was the Q1, the first quartile? How much was it? Anybody who made a note? 0.63? 0.63? And how much was the third quartile? 0. 0.8? 1. 1. 1.8? 1.3. Uh, 1.3. Make a box. Second step. Using Q1, Q3. Then what? Next. Put a line at the median. How much was the median? I remember median was is a 0 0.80, right? At here. We made a box. What was the title? Box and whisker. We can extend the whisker up to the smallest one, up to the maximum, right? How much was the minimum again, please? 0.46 maximum 1.53 I'm done with this box and whistle good right so so now we need it minimum three quartiles and maximum is so basically we need the uh, five number summary is so basically we needed the five number summary it's good right we need it, we are going to need the interquartile range is next to later. But we don't need the interquartile range um, to make a box plot here with only the five numbers. Any question? Just a second. What we are doing? Why we made the histogram, standard, now box and risk of plot? And why we made bar graph, pie chart, and for what? What we are doing? Show this to show the data, right? And the other way, another way. What we are doing? Organizing, Organizing the data, thank you. Visual, visualizing the distribution. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
organizing the data, summarizing, visualizing, describe the distribution, right? Look at this. Can you visualize the distribution? Is it symmetrical? No. And let me ask you, then where is the longer tail? Longer. The longer tail. Um, the right. To the left or to the right? To the right. Can you see the longer tail to the right? Yeah. See, you know the box and risk of plot is very statistical plot. Somebody who didn't take statistics, they cannot understand. But now, can you see that? The longer tail? See, when you have a box plot, it looks like this. How do you think? Symmetrical. It's lovely. It looks like symmetrical. But we had... Where is the longer tail? Yeah. To the right. How about the left one? Can you see that? Right? Yeah? So again, from the box and whisker, we can describe the distribution. We can visualize the distribution too. Right? Yeah. So chapter two, three, yeah, we organize the data and uh, visualizing the distribution and uh, describing and interpreting, right, the data. Yeah. Chapter two and chapter three. And now here is the additional topic. It is for outlier. Uh, one day I gave you the outlier. Uh, when we compare the median and the mean, I gave you an example, income. Remember that? The income is outlier. Yeah, it's over there, right? Yeah. So simply, outlier means it's an extremely big value, extremely small value, right? So additionally, uh, we are going to discuss about the outlier um, is here, okay? And here is the rule. Here is the rule to detect the outlier. Yeah, we need the uh, two limits, the lower limit and upper limit. Yeah, it's a lower limit and upper limit. And in any case, out of the limits, then we are going to determine if they are outlier. It's an extremely smaller one and extremely big one, right? Yeah. Um, let me show you this one is later again, but yeah, please look at this. Yep, here's another example. Uh, let me take the three quartiles. Now, how many, how many data? Five, five and six, six, six and six. Totally 24. Yeah, here's the even number, right? Uh, unfortunately, they are not in order, right? Yeah, so please, please give me the smallest one. Who is the smallest one? Four. Next. I think the 50 is the next one. Any 50s? No more 50? 52? Oh, 52, thank you. Any more 50s? Oh, 55? And now 60? Yeah, I think it's now 60. Do we have a 61? Yes, 61. How about 62? Yes, 62. And next one is a 64. Where is the 63? Oh, 63, thank you. Then 64. And, and next one, 65? 64. Another 64. And 65. Next. 65. Another 65 at the beginning. Then 66 now. Where is the 66? 66. Then 7. 
67. Oh, I have another 67. Next. 68. 68 and 9. No more 60s? Yeah, I, I think it's no more 60s. Then who is the 70? 71 to next three four four and five yeah uh -huh. 73 74 74 75 and the last one 80 let me count the total lead must be 24 so let me count is a three and three three and three 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 twenty four good i put them in order even number 24 then where is the median between 65 66 we take two values in the middle and take the average right how much will be the median Did I give you the wrong value? So 65 is a 0.5, that will be the median and the second quartile. Can you take the smaller group? Up to whom? Up to 65. What was the rule? Excluding the median 65.5, excluding. Is up to 65. How many cases in the left end, the left hand side? 12. Another even number. So we have to take the two cases in the middle again. Take the average. 61.5 will be another median from the left half. It will be the first quartile. And how about the upper left sorry upper right from 66 up to 80 how many another 12. take these two it's between there 70 71 71.5 there is a q3 Can you make the box and whisper? Right, yeah. Uh, we have to make the scale first. From zero to 80, right, yeah. Here's a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Put the box, it's a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 61.5, and 71.5, in the middle, 65.5, extend the whisker up to the minimum, 4, up to the maximum, 80. Uh, we are going to discuss more about outer layer on Wednesday. Okay, I want to start here to make a box plot. That's good. So let me give you quiz number four. Yep, here is a quiz number four. Find the quartiles, interquartile range, make a box and risk of plot. Take the lower limit, upper limit. Uh, you don't have to take the lower limit and upper limit because we, did, we didn't discuss the upper limit and lower limit. Yeah. Yeah, please make a box and whisker. Uh, let me make this bigger. Uh, first of all, you must put them in order. Uh, we have uh, 20. The 20 values, right? Yeah. 
I got it. is number two. Anybody would take the minimum? 5.2 is the minimum. How about the maximum? 29.4 is maximum. Okay, good. So... So we have a minimum is a 29.4 and the maximum, oh, sorry, minimum 5.2 and the maximum 29.4 is an equal 20. And you have to take the first quartile, med uh, median, and the third quartile. Anybody who took the median? 18.25. Anybody who took 18.25 for the median? You, you got it? Anybody? 18.25. How did you get 18.25? Probably uh, we have uh, 20. We have a uh, 20 case, even number. So you take um, it's 18.1 and 18.4. Am I right? 
Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, we split it exactly 10 and 10. So 10 will be 18.1. The next one, 11, it must be 18.4. So we take the two values in the middle, take the average as between 18.1 and 18.4, then the average will be 18.25. It is the median and it is the second floor height. Does it make sense? Anybody who take the first quartile? How much? 12.3? 12.3? Between who and who? See, with the median, with the median 18.25, we can split exactly 10 and 10. 10 and 10, even numbers. So we have uh, another two values. For day. Twelve point two and twelve point four. Am I right? Did you take twelve point two? Where is the twelve point two? Twelve point two and twelve point four. Huh? All right? Yeah, good. Okay. How about the third one? Anybody third one? 21.55 anybody who 21.55 yeah probably you have to take two another two values in the middle because we split it 10 and 10 even numbers then um who and who how did you get the average 20 just a second 20.3 20 22.8 it's between 20.3 and 22.8 another average 21.55 for the third part right and good good keep going keep going <clears throat> interquartile range was the bigger one, Q3, minus the smallest one. And please make the scale. The scale must be, um, I think, make the scale from um, 0 to 10, 20, and 30. Right? Yeah. You can make the scale from 0 to 30 because we have to cover them all from 5.2 to 29.4. And roughly I can put, um, here is the 5, 15, 25. <clears throat> um, I want to complete chapter three Wednesday and review and take the exam um, Friday. Already I posted the uh, new homework and it will be due Friday before the exam. Yes. Okay. 5.2, yeah. C is a statistic. Yeah, it's a wrong Okay, good. I need an interpretary. Yeah, it's number two, interpretary.
between two three minus two one. Yes. We made the box with a Q1 and Q3. So, yeah, from here to here. The box. And put a solid line at the medium. It is a box. And the whisker up to the minimum. Up to the Inside there is a Q2, yes. Yes. Oh, range. That is a range. Oh. Yeah, you have to put the median in there. And it is a range. It is an interpersonal range. But you have to put a solid line in the middle at the median. At the median. Mm -hmm. yes.
a second.